Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest X. Today, we are going to talk about quite a few different things, actually. There's a lot of Dragon Quest-related news and events coming up very, very soon, because the Dragon Quest Summer Festival is about to happen. May May being May May. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on right now uh, in the Dragon Quest community. We got Dragon Quest Your Story hitting um, like on August 2nd, I think it is. And then on the 3rd, we have the Dragon Quest Summer Festival where we're going to get uh, Dragon Quest 10 version 5. We're going to get Dragon Quest Monsters game. We're going to find out more about Dragon Quest 11S for the Switch. So lots and lots of stuff. So, let's see where we're going. Okay, we must... Alright, so... Can we actually do the... Another event? Oh, okay. Okay. See, the events, it, it would be better if I did a lot of those offline uh, for the repetition ones, but unfortunately this stupid VPN is still, uh, is still here, and that's what sucks. Because we are almost, what? Sure, okay, no problem. Let's go for it! Hopefully the VPN is okay. I have to mention this practically every episode because I get a lot of comments from people saying, I thought the VPN was down. The VPN is only down in two countries. That's it. So, yeah. There's basically the United States and China. Why the United States and China, I have no idea. Uh, how the hell do we get out of here? Oh, straight. What, what, what? Um... But yeah, I don't understand why it would be the United States and Canada. Uh, sorry, and uh, China. Those are like, you know, two massive countries, but you're limiting the rest of the world. I still say there's something up here that that doesn't really make any sense. I mean, China had Dragon Quest X, their own version, before it was shut down. So, I don't know, I'm not, uh, I, I just, I don't know. It's really, really weird. Canada's a small country, so maybe that's why, but I, I don't know. I find it very, very peculiar. Landed in the water? Sorry, jeez. Holy moly. This is what I love. Use this kind of stuff, it's crazy. Did 
but without uh, without the VPN, I could do so much stuff in this game that not necessarily like that wouldn't necessarily be for filming purposes. You know what I mean? Like I could do just build up the character, do tons of grinding, do. Uh, a lot of blacksmithing stuff, get all the missing uh, recipes and just so on and so forth. Like, I could do tons of stuff. But, as it is right now, it's just not possible. I think it was this one. Okay, so I just gotta look at this. And even that, it would be easier to do. I'm assuming she just gave me some... Oh, it's because I have it on... Okay, so if I go like this, and I go like this, and I go like this. Just a second. Now I can. It should just be the look, though, if I recall correctly. What, 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 what? What's going on? Alright, um... Why do I look the way I look? Ah, oh, there it is. Well, these are all accessories. And that's fine. Okay, so what I'd like to do now is go here. No. Do I have any uh, flippers? I did on my other character. Uh, no. Okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, I like her shirt. Oops. It's 
that's because I switched the uh, thing. Alright, ladies, where are we off to? This is hilarious. I, I love these things. But these are the types of things where it would be like, I don't know if I would do these offline, right? Like, when I say offline, I mean just not on camera. I don't know. So, like I said, lots of Dragon stu uh, Quest stuff to speak about. Lots and lots of stuff to speak about. I don't know exactly what um, what's going to happen here in terms of uh, your story. Like, I, I don't think it's going to get released outside Japan myself, but I do think that once it hits Blu-ray, we'll have an English subtitle. So I'm certainly going to uh, pick that bad boy up, and I'm sure there's going to be a collector's edition type thing, and knowing Square Enix, there'll be some s exclusive uh, sort of version of it or something on the Square Enix store. So I'll be sure to pick that up, probably get it through White Rabbit or something like that. Because I'm all set for Dragon Quest XI-S, already paid for everything, and good to go. So I have the American version coming, I have the... I have the Japanese version, I got everything. What he gave me? He did give me something. Well, let's find us some pineapple then, shall we? OK, 
Okay. Is it another clue? It is another clue, okay. I love the way Mei Mei walks, look at this, so cute. So yeah, I, um, I'm very confident that we're going to get your story in English through subtitles. I'm, I'm very confident about that. I don't think we're going to get a localized English version, though. I'd be very surprised. And this just goes back to everything with Dragon Quest as a whole. Like, I think Monsters is going to come out this year or next year in Japan, and we'll have to wait like a dog's age for it. All right. Because even like the Heroes games and stuff, it's almost been a year. Seriously, almost a year between the Japanese and the English releases. The only downside is that I have school. So I'm a little... I don't want to say concerned, but it kind of sucks. Okay, third option tells... Okay. I actually just did a review for Dragon Quest V. And I had a good time. I had a really good time. I got to show the Super Famicom version for like about a minute or two. Oh, I just noticed the... Uh, wow, well, I had a warp lag. I haven't had that in a forever. Or a lag warp or whatever the hell it's called. But uh, yeah. Uh, so it was really fun doing that. And then I was playing the PlayStation 2 version of the remake for Dragon Quest V, and I was like, wow, I forgot how absolutely beautiful that was. Where, like, the world's on, like, almost like a globe, like uh, Super Mario Galaxy, and it, it it's actually really well done, so that you can see, like, treasure chests and stuff like that. It, it's really cool. I was kind of like, damn, you know, because as cool as the uh, 3DS remakes were, it would have been stunning to see, like, Dragon Quest VI get remade on, like, the PlayStation 3. That would have been unbelievable. Alright, so... I'm following Mei Mei. gonna say. Oh, so there's a little girl.
I just keep saying yes. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Am I? Okay, no. Top, top, bottom. Okay. All right, let's see. Perfect. Okay. like my ping here just looking and seeing how uh, it's not great I don't want it to uh, crap out on us gosh man I'm telling you cranberry has it so made now so easy you can just grab her switch be anywhere in the States and just like play I don't understand why they did that for so many different reasons because the game is an MMO, like, you want to be able to play it wherever. I have three options. Now what? Something is off here. No, so something is...
Yeah, that's exactly it. Okay. Nope. Nope, I don't have the item. It's one of those bells. That's it. That's the one. Right? Yep. There we go. Now we're doomed. Ah. How? Wow, that's very nice. There's a thumbnail if I've ever seen one. Let's just see what time. Yeah, perfect, around a half hour mark, all right. It's so hot today, man. My poor little cat is like a pancake. I have to close it up soon and put on the AC but that doesn't really help much Are we ending? We can venture forth. Well, do we? Um...
I mean, I can end it here if she uh, wants to go crash. Or we just stay here. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's take a look. Um, okay, you know, okay, for for the sake of All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, we will catch you next week with another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest X. Have an amazing week, everybody.